is the Renetti pistol any good in modern warfare? And what just happened? What the crap just happened? There it goes, a double kill. What is going on ladies and gentlemen? My name is Tigris Gaming and welcome back to some more modern warfare. Season 3 continues day by day to become better and better. If you guys remember in my previous video we checked out the season 3 maps and they were absolutely amazing. But in today's video we will be checking out the new Renetti pistol aka the Rafika from the old modern warfare series. And here is the Renetti aka the Rafika in all of its glory. Now as you guys can see these are the attachments that I use. Nothing too crazy. But yes as you guys can see I have used it. I have le um, leveled up to level 16. And that was because I wanted to level up and unlock some attachments before I showcase it to you guys. Without further ado if you guys enjoy these videos make sure to absolutely destroy the like button. Subscribe if you're new and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of these videos. And with that being said let's get into a game and see how over overpowered or not this weapon is all right everybody i have just loaded in into a team deathmatch hardcore team deathmatch that is on talisk backlot and what just happened what the crap just happened what wait hold on, hold on i don't even care what just happened how did i get killed there and there is the first guy and there goes the first kill let's go he is dead no, no, go down, go down. And like I said in the intro, this is a pretty much a remastered the Rafika. The Rafika was used in the old Call of Duties, the old Modern Warfare, and it is remastered here. It's the same weapon, obviously with a couple of changes, but it's pretty much the same weapon and I cannot get a kill to save my life. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I have used this weapon before, like I said. Okay, there it goes, I get the camper. But like I was saying, oh, there's a second camper, let's go. That's what I'm talking about, killing two campers in a row. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Oh, that was so close. That was very, very close. Careful, careful, teammate, careful. Oh, come on, man. I told you to be careful. I'm just gonna camp here if he decides to come up. But yeah, I did use this weapon to try and level up and get some attachments and it was actually an all right weapon. Obviously, if you are accurate with it, you can you could be very, very lethal. But there are some times where it's inconsistent and that's the only bad thing I would say about it. It is inconsistent sometimes. Like sometimes you'd be shooting at the enemy and he won't die. But some other times, you know, you shoot one whip, one bullet too and he's dead. And sometimes he won't die. So, like I said, it's, it's inconsistent. And there's an enemy right there. Get him. Let's go. Alright, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. This has been a very, very dead game. There is barely anything happening. There's someone there. Oh, there! What? Come on, game. What is this camping? Really? You have to be kidding me, man. Look at these campers. It's unbelievable. And there's someone there. Come on. Oh, uh, what? And there goes. That's what I mean. Like many bullets did it take for him to, to not even die right there? I must have hit him with about four or five bullets, and he's still not dead. And that's what I mean by it's inconsistent. You see? Sometimes it gets him. Sometimes it doesn't. So. You just gotta be very careful with that. And there it goes, that's a kill. And there's another camper. Okay, okay. This game is full of campers. What on earth? This is not even funny, like the amount of camper camping in this game. Okay, okay, I got flashed. I need to be careful here. Alright, this is a a standoff. Boom, let's go. Get him. Uh oh. Someone shot me from above. Oh, okay, you know what? No, I won't be going, I won't be going that way. I'm just gonna change my path and go this way. Enemy. Boom, let's go, another kill. That is exactly what I'm talking about. And there's a camper right there, and this guy comes out of a taxi. I went on a bloodthirsty as well, and I got killed by a guy that came out from a taxi. Now that I've used this weapon for a couple of matches and I'm showcasing it to you guys, compared to the other DLC weapons, I would say this has not been the very best, but yeah, compared to the other DLC weapons, this has not been the best. And yes, I know the other weapons were assault rifles or SMGs, and this is a pistol, but you're better off using the Deagle, that is much better weapon than this, as this guy's just camping, okay, it's fun to use this weapon, try it out if you haven't. If you guys are accurate and and good at COD, then you, you will do good, obviously. Now for me, I'm not that good of on pistols. You know, I do not like using pistols at all. There it goes. 
a double kill. That's what I'm talking about though. Just as I'm saying I am not good at using pistols, I get a double kill. Let's go. But anyways, like I was saying, I'm not that good with pistols. They're not my go-to weapons in Modern Warfare or any Call of Duty. Because I'm just not used to using pistols. If you guys are, then you guys can do some damage. Get away from the grenade. Let's go. That's another kill. And I escape death right there. And there's a camper. I ran out of bullets. No way. Oh, what? That was so close. You know, I'm afraid to challenge him actually. Because he does have the advantage on me. Let's see if I can cheekily... Oh no, I can. I don't even have one. Really? Oh, let's go. I get him. Oh, and this guy... Can't... How many were there? There were two of them camping in that building. What? Oh, this guy's camping as well. He's dead. He's no longer camping. And I get shot from the back. As you guys can see, I am 14 and 14. Alright, and there it goes. Once again, I get a couple hit markers and the game is over. Ended up going 14 and 14. Obviously, could have done much worse, but I could have done much, much better. But you guys saw there were a lot of campers. This weapon, I recommend you guys try it. Give it a go. There it goes, 14 and 14. But yeah, give it a go. If you guys use pistols, then this is going to be very fun. Also, this pistol does have a 3 burst fire mode. I'll actually show you guys real quick right now. Alright, everybody, I have just loaded in into a custom game. Just to show you the 3 round burst mode on this pistol the Renetti like I was saying also you can put a Kimbo on this weapon and there it goes I can actually show you guys right here on custom game there it goes a Kimbo three round burst now maybe if you I if I have unlocked these um, attachments maybe it would have changed my mind on this weapon because look at it could be a beast I mean a Kimbo and three round burst Look at this, look at this, look how OP that is. And with that being said, this will bring us to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to absolutely destroy that like button. And like I said, make sure to try out this Renetti pistol. It's the same as the Rafika in the old Modern Warfare games. In my opinion, I didn't enjoy using this weapon to be honest. Even when I was trying to level and get up, I wasn't really enjoying it. That's my opinion. You guys try it the way I did and try it with the Akimbo and the 3 round burst. I will make another video once I unlock the Akimbo and the 3 3 round burst on this weapon to see how good it is with the akimbo and the burst until then stay tuned like i said destroy the like button subscribe if you're new to help this channel grow and of course turn on your notification bell so you guys don't miss any of these videos and there will also be a video on the new sniper slash marksman rifle the sks that will be coming soon so stay tuned like i said and with that being said i hope you guys have a good day and i will catch you guys later